Hi and welcome to uh, part two of the uh, console setup. Um, so right here I've got uh, four consoles. Um, these are the only ones that I uh, use that uh, use composite video. So um, obviously you got the Nintendo over here, original. Um, you've got the uh, Model 1, PlayStation 1. Um, and the reason why I have this one is because this actually has the uh, yellow original uh, composite output which is what you need if you want to use any kind of light gun so I keep that one for that and then over here these are just a couple of emulators so got a Sega Genesis emulator and a Atari 2600 um, both of those um, you can buy them today at like Bed Bath and Beyond, and Amazon, and so on, and they come with uh, standardized uh, mono sound and uh, composite video. So those four um, are the ones that I'm going to connect, and of course you've got the uh, outfeed from the uh, VHS player right there. So in total, I have uh, five composite cables that I need to hook up. Um, in order to do that, you're going to need, you know, something like this, which is a composite video splitter uh, or switch box. Um, so uh, I like this one personally. It's got uh, four inputs and one output, and he likes it as well. Um, one thing you do want to do, though, is you want to get one that has a power source. Um, whenever you're setting up any kind of uh, switch boxes um, or you know something that changes the video quality make sure that there's a power source there um, it'll greatly improve the video quality so once you've hooked all of those up you're gonna have a single composite cable coming out from those switch boxes and from that point on, there are two ways to do this. You have these guys here, which is called HDMI Mini. Um, these are fairly cheap, and the quality isn't exactly great. But you would put the composite in here, and then you'd get your HDMI out from the other end. And again, make sure it's got a power cable. So. You know, that's the, the cheap way, it's not the best way, but it works. If you have the money, I would highly recommend getting the XRBG Mini or the FrameMeister. This is a professional video um, upscaler. And uh, it you can see here it takes a ton of different uh, inputs, if it would focus. Let's see here. There we go. So you've got HDMI, two HDMI in. You've got a D, which is a Japanese terminal. Um, and then you've got the HDMI out, which will then go to your TV. Um, and the front here, you've got RGB, which is the best analog video signal possible. Uh, it goes from uh, radio frequency to composite to S-video to RGB. Um, and then over here you've got composite in and also S video in. So this box right here will take any signal that you give it and professionally make it a lot better. So uh, this is what I'm going to be using. But uh, at this point, you know, if you have just uh, in television or, you know, some of the older systems you just need to connect it to a VHS and then connect that if you're doing you know the budget version connect that to this and connect it to your TV and you're good to go but we want the best possible image and for that we're gonna need the XRGB FrameMeister uh, yeah and uh, as you can see my cats loves consoles but uh, 
these things have been discontinued. They were sold out of Japan from a company called Solaris. So at this point, um, I'm not sure where to get these except secondhand, you know, like eBay, uh, possibly Amazon. But I'll, you know, I'll look into it if I can find any links. I'll post it below. So uh, let's uh, hook all this up and then uh, take it from there. And uh, there you have it. So uh, now everything has been hooked up. The uh, RF signals go through the VHS, um, gives out composite. Um, all the consoles that use composite are now going into composite switch boxes here. And um, one tip that I would want to give you is label everything. So you can see here I got the labels back there telling me which system they are. And the same down here. So I've you know I need two composite switch boxes because there's so many composite cables. Um, each one can take uh, four inputs and send out one. So I've got two boxes clearly labeled two and one. So whatever signal is being sent to this unit right here, which is the um, Sega emulator and the Atari emulator over here um, they're both being sent to that which in turn is coming down here so box one is the one that is sending out the signal through these cables right here so this is going to go to the frame meister and then subsequently to the TV so every signal is going through those cables so if I needed to you know play the Sega emulator I would hit the Sega switch here and then box 2 and now the signal will go through the second box into the first box and out the cable so make sure you label everything and uh, that takes care of the composite so uh, I will see you in the next video